this time we're going to do a whole van build in one video so compress it all bit of time lapse bit of various bits and show you how we go from this to what will be the end result as a lot of people know we don't really do customers work here not full builds we do loads of customer suspension work here but we don't really do the whole camper or you know whatever build in the back because uh, we just don't really have the time every now and again somebody comes along and asks us to do something and we agree to do it <laughs> and that's where this one has come in so this van is going to be for wheel pros most of you will be aware of wheel pros products probably more under the name of rotiform and fuel wheels and loads of other brands they do loads of wheels they have a uk uh, distribution hub here a wheel Pros Europe based um, in the UK. We deal with them a lot. We've helped them with the development of fuel wheels and various other wheels for the transporter. And those guys asked us whether we could help them find and build a van for them to use at shows. So the purpose of this van, lovely looking van, love this colour, is going to be more of a mobile office than anything. So wheel pros are a lot of shows, a lot of uh, market products, sale products to companies like us. And they wanted something that was more like an office so they could sit in it, have a TV in there, have a fridge, sit and maybe have a beer. Also to be able to use it, to be able to tow other vehicles with their wheels onto shows or around Europe as well, not just around the UK. So that's where this van came in. So they uh, asked us first of all if we could help them source a van. Well, right now that is so hard. As many people will know, finding vehicles is impossible. Production side of things is slowed down because the, the looms are made in the Ukraine. COVID had caused massive issues. Semiconductor issues had slowed down production. So vans are uh, ridiculously high priced because you just can't get hold of them. They're just hard to come by. So I contacted a few people I knew to try and find something and Thankfully, Ollie at Bogner Motors came back to me with this. So this is a long wheelbase, DSG, had to be DSG, T6.1 Highline that was brand new, just freshly registered on a 22 plate, which was exactly what we were looking for. This has barn doors. They didn't, they weren't worried about barn door or tailgate. So thankfully we managed to source this van. And the plan for this is, as I said before, is to make a mobile office out of it. So they kind of gave us free reign on what, we, what they wanted us to do, but the end goal will be nice, sexy looking van, on air suspension, they'll put various ones of their nice wheels on it over the time. I don't know what, what whether this is have rotiforms on it or what's gonna go on this one, but that'll probably change depending on where they're going show-wise. Interior-wise, some nice seats. We're gonna go for the van furniture style setup again that you would have seen us do. Big fan of the van furniture stuff. I think it's the best kind of cupboard setup on the market with the, whether you want to use it for a camper or whether you want to use it for like this is going to be a mobile office. So the whole sofa arrangement, no hob or anything needed on this, but fridge so they can have Rings in there, beers in there, whatever. Windows all round, we'll put the new camper glass flush sliding windows in this. Not gonna put windows in the barn doors, I don't think, because there's no real need and that gives you space to, to lean up against. Swivel seats in the front, whoever's in the front can be sitting, having a meeting with whoever's in there. Nice sexy lighting on the roof, halo headlining and some sexy LEDs. Van shades, window pods all round, just so they can have the privacy and shut the blinds if they need to when they're having meetings or to stop the sunlight coming in. But should be pretty cool. We're gonna do something a bit different with the electrics on this one as well, because of the way this vehicle would sit probably in the wheel pros warehouse for a lot of the time and not get used a lot didn't want to do a standard leisure battery style setup in this with a split charge it's not going to go to campsites so there's no need to have a charging point so we're going to go for more of a mobile power solution to allow them to charge laptops phones power the fridge that will be in here but we'll come on to that a little bit later on but i think this whole mobile power solution is going to be really suited to a lot of builds moving forward with the whole kind of adventure build and less of the full camper conversion style setup so anyway i'm going to hand you over to mitch now mitch is going to start the air install mount the compressors mount the tank and various of the bits while we're waiting for the struts and dampers and the management to come that's coming from america then blake's going to crack on with the inside cut some holes in it put some windows in it carpet line soundproof insulation van furniture setup halo headlining instead of documenting the whole thing along the way probably just going to put it into a bit of a time lapse so you can see the build and then we'll skip to the nice sexy finished result right at the end so anyway here we go looking forward to seeing how this one turns out Right, it's up on the ramps now. You'll notice it's probably got a different front end because I don't think we filmed that. But I'll go into a bit more detail a little bit later on on that one. Mikey's gonna just run you through the air suspension setup we've put on this and why. Gone for a solo shocks with Bonhoff. Bonhoff made the uh, air kit for us. It's a slimmer bag than normal. 
you can see on your, most other kits on the market, it's just to help with wheel clearance. As it's the wheel prototype, we thought we're going to put loads of different wheels on, so we've done that to future proof it. Moving on to the management, Wheel Pro's provided it, it's airlift 3P. We've gone three eight lines, helps with uh, inflating the bags very quickly, gets the airlift a lot quicker with the nice big bags. And then we've gone for our silent 458 compressors, they're a lot quieter, fill quicker. A brilliant upgrade to have, a lot better than most of the other compressors on the market, or all the other compressors on the market. We've loads over the years, found they're the best ones. Moving over to the tank, we've got for a seamless air tank. It fits well in between the rear arms and the spare wheel, so you can still keep your spare wheel. You've not lost any room inside, so that's why we like mounting everything underneath. Rear shocks, we've gone for our Dolo extra short rear shocks, and they are available on the website. We use them for air and the lowest of the low solo, so when you're doing your adjusted leads and stuff like that, we go for them. With a little bit of notching on the back, ABS relocation as well, and a slight bit of cutting on the front. And that's, that's about it for the air ride underneath. It's all, uh, all hidden away, all nicely tucked in and put nice and neat over So here we have it, the finished van. It's come out actually so much nicer than I thought it was going to. I kind of had a vision in my head of what we wanted to look like. Chatting to the guys at Wheel Pros and they kind of gave us a brief. Brief being that it needed to be a mobile media van. They needed to be able to use this for meetings, to tow vehicles. We had a detachable tow bar fitted on this to look cool at shows, to show off their wheels. So this is the Wheel Pros van. So Wheel Pros are rote form, fuel and other wheel brands. So this will have various wheels on it throughout the time. So that we had to factor that in when we were looking at the bag kit we were going to put on the vehicle. And this is the result. So I'll take you in a little bit closer, show you what work we've done. Quite the transformation from the standard panel van that arrived to us, I don't know how many, a few weeks ago. Big thank you to everybody that was involved in this that for rushing some things 
grew. So wheel pros were in quite a rush for this. So there's some like van furniture, pulled the cupboard build forward quite quickly for us. Skipton Cast supplied us some audio and some um, big pods for it really quickly. A few other people, Heiss over at um, Bonhoff supplied us with a bag kit on the brief that we're giving him because we needed a narrower bag because of the different wheel options. So you tend to find with a lot of bag kits on the market currently that they can be a bit wide when you're running a wider wheel so they rub on the tire. So we wanted a narrower bag kit. That's why we spoke to Bonhoff about making this particular bag that's sitting on our solo strut. I won't go into loads of details on this because there'll be more information on that coming in a future video because uh yeah, anyway, I won't go into full details. Right, so let's take you in closer and have a look. So up front there, as you can see, obviously the first thing that's really noticeable is it's low. It's way lower. So as I mentioned before, that's on air suspension. So the wheel that we get asked about every time we post a picture of this is the Rotiform STL. So that's an alloy wheel that looks like a steel and loads of people ask about it. Originally, it wasn't made in transport or fitment as these aren't. These have needed a bit of work to make these fit, which I won't go into the full details, but these are coming. They will be available. Keep your on our website, keep your on our social media. The Rotiform STL will be available for transport or fitment. Load rated, everything you need to know. When they first sent us details and said they were gonna put them on this van, I was a bit umming and ahhing because I wasn't sure how the steel would look with what we'd gone for on the rest of the, the high line with the color-coded vibe, but oh, I think it looks amazing. Absolutely love this wheel. So windows, the new camper glass flush sliding windows gone on the inside so this lets loads of light in and it keeps that nice clean smooth line a few little details so the sequential side repeaters we had at the front there so let's just mention sunstrip because they look badass and because needed to be done add a bit of solo branding so around the front here we went for full gloss black grills throughout so gloss black upper gloss black vw badge gloss black lower and we also added the thruxton styling so this is currently my favorite front end for a t6.1 it's what i'm putting on my van so you've got the lower lip which is one piece that's color coded in two colors and then the grill trims that just break up the blacker front there you can just do the splitter but having discussed it with the wheel pros guys we decided to go for the grill trims as well and again i think it just finishes it off really nicely just breaks that front end up so on the rear we decided not to put any rear windows because they want to be able to use it as a media room and a meeting space and they want to be able to when you see the inside format you'll see it makes sense where you can sit and lean up at the back there gloss black vw badge just to finish off that to keep it consistent throughout rear spoiler again just that extra bit of detail and then i'll take you inside to show you what we've done in there oh, another thing worth mentioning this vehicle is going to be towing vehicles so actually last week they towed a really sexy beetle to belgium and picked up another car so they wanted to keep tires load rated which is hard when you're going really low but this these wheels and tires are fully load rated for a t30 so these are 255 35 20 they're 102 rated so enough for a t30 same front and rear just gives them that confidence that while towing they've not got any concerns about you know tire issues or them not carrying the weight so inside is the media room wheel pros supplied us with these cobra seats with the gte yeah the electric gte finish on them with the cobra branding which look really nice if i can show you around the back of those they're all carbon backed they were built for them especially by cobra especially for this vehicle no particular modifications up front other than a speaker upgrade tweeter upgrade and then a simple sub just underneath there just to give it a bit of a better sound didn't want to go all out on the audio but just to give it a nicer sound while it's on those longer journeys and you'll also see in the back corner there we've got a rear speaker upgrade so, so as we look around the inside first thing you'll see is the cupboard layout so we've used these before and are massive fans of them which is the van furniture cupboard setup so it suits lots of things this doesn't need to be a camper so it's not going to be slept in but can be folded out if they get tired and want to have a kip at a show but the real reason for this is that it's a media space so they can sit and have a meeting in here a couple of guys sitting on the front seat swivel round. so these cobra seats are actually sitting on rustily single swivel seat bases big fans of those work really well nicest softest sliding ones that we've encountered and then in the back there they can sit there chill have their meetings and then reach for a beer in the thq fridge love this stuff actually might nick a can of that beauty of these fridges is they can open from both sides so if you sit in the front or the back you can grab a bit yeah cupboard set up all round loads of storage in these things got your detailing products there but plenty of stuff to pack all their their cameras and everything they need for shows so you'll see here we fitted a sony tv again the, the reason being for this is they need to be able to display so this is one of rotiform's videos shown on the screen here so at meetings they can have presentations show off wheels have this going showing off some of the stuff that they do on this place so we put a tv in there off an angled bracket so if i just show you around here this bracket allows the tv to angle and move out in all different positions headlining again skipton supplied us with this headlining we were in a massive rush so we rushed and got one of these ready for us van shades as always like these in a build again for they want a bit of privacy during the meetings or want to let a bit of light in 
yeah, just a really nice, comfortable place to chill and relax. I love this setup. I've raved about it before in vans, but multi-purpose, whether you want it as a camper or you just want a space to chill in a day van, it just really suits the purpose. The new camper glass flush sliding windows, one of only a few sets that we actually flew into the country, but we felt like these guys needed them in this van. So a nice, simple mechanism to keep them open, locking in place if they want a bit of ventilation or shut nice and smoothly, but very OEM-esque with the, the latch system here. Floor-wise, we went for this new flooring that we're gonna be doing, be available on the website soon, so it's like very OEM style, so trying to keep that consistency with the front pattern continuing through into the rear. It just looks the same. If that was all blacked up and fresh, it would look really similar. This van originally had a two plus one seat, so where we've removed the two, we sell these blank plates just to fill that gap so it doesn't look odd or out of place. So moving over to what I would call the media station. So you've got the TV there. So that's currently streaming their YouTube channel via a router that's inside the cupboard there. Plenty more storage in the cupboard here. There's a table that's uh, underneath the bench here that clicks in here nicely for places to put your laptop. So this little beauty here is a wireless charger. Pop that on there, get your phone charging and also pop it up. And in there you've got two, three 240 plug sockets and two USB sockets there. Again, media van, important to have plug sockets, important to have USB points. Pop it down and it's nice and discreet. So inside the cupboard, so the brief was with, with Rotiform, they wanted to be able to charge a camera kit, as I keep saying, be able to play a TV. So we were trying to work the best way for them to have that. And I didn't think a ledger battery system was the best way to do that. They wanted to be able to run a fridge to keep cold drinks on the go. Um, but to power all this so we went for these and I think these are going to be massive in the future in the world of this kind of setup and van and I've got one of these now in my van because I think it's a great bit of kit so this is an EcoFlow Delta so this is basically a, a mobile battery pack the reason why we decided to go with this setup is this van could potentially sit inside their warehouse for months without being used well this Eco Delta EcoFlow Delta pack has USB four USBs two USB-Cs 12 volt cigarette lighter style four 240 plug sockets off the back and this thing will just keep going and keep going and keep going and while you're driving along we just put a 12 volt connector at the back of the cupboard just there if you can see it so that's trickle charging off the 12 volt to power this thing up on the display here it shows you how many hours are left at the current use how much power is left in it and all, loads of information that you need to know there so you can see currently as they're running with all the lights on the tv going there's still six hours 16 hours sorry of energy going on there then the beauty of that then is you can charge this off solar if you want it comes with the connectors you can charge it off your 12 volt that goes in the front or you can charge it off your mains so because it's mobile we actually strap this in place with like a gas strap while they're traveling but they can just pop this out take it inside whether they've got whether they're at a show, whether they need to take it to the hotel, whether it's in the warehouse, they can just pop the unit out and put the unit on, uh, on charge. These things are so handy. I've already been using one of these. I went away uh, a couple of weeks ago to a glamping tent and having all the kids that I have, four of them, uh, I needed to keep things charged, devices to keep the boredom down. So the Nintendo DS's and all the iPads and stuff were charging off that all the time we were there and it just kept going. And if you needed to, plug it in your 12, 12 volt in your cigarette lighter, charge it up again while you're on the go. And it's just a really great system to not have to constantly worry about having a leisure battery. You tend to find if you've got a leisure battery in a vehicle and it just sits still for a long time, it can drain the battery. The beauty of this is you can just shut it down or you can feel, feed so many things off it. That power pack there is also in, plugged into the back of that is this thing here. So that then is effectively a an extension which has got all these 240 plug sockets if they need to plug anything else in or charge, charge the mobile devices on. It's absolutely perfect for this setup. The 12 volt fridge is plugged in into the back of that we connected that to like a 12 volt cigarette style connector which runs into the back there so that's the fridge going on the tv off that now and it's just running so well and as i said you need to you just take it out plug it in at home or just have it plugged in while you're traveling along and it will just constantly keep it up um, up and running and trickle charged got a new video coming just dedicated to that and a few other versions of that power pack in the next couple of weeks when i get a chance but there's a whole range of them uh, the delta there's also another range called the river it's more of a smaller mobile version with a wireless charger built in but i'll go into that in a bit more detail another time let me just spin you around the back and show you what it's like from the other side from this side you can see again loads of storage to be able to access stuff under there table and that's stored under there so as i said this can fold out and become a bed you may have seen it in our other videos this flat folds over and these all become your mattress nice little speaker pods just here speakers giving a really nice sound as well so if looking at it from here like i said really nice place to chill relax whether you're at a show whether you're camping or anything this setup is a really handy useful space to be in and it just feels nice and relaxed the lighting just kind of gives it that bit of a prestige feel to it you can see there's like a it's the video picks it up but there's like a texture almost like sound deadening kind of vibe going on with the texture in the 
and the roof line in there. LEDs are colour changeable, but we've set them on blue because it just suits the blueness of the van. Cherry blossoms blown in from outside. But there you go, really pleased with how this has came out. Those guys are really pleased with how it's came out, which is the important thing. But as setups go, sexy looking van, multi-purpose, does the job they asked it for. It's come out nice, nicer than we expected, I think. They're pleased with it, we're pleased with it, and hopefully you think it's good too. So I'll try and link below where everything came from, van furniture. So THQ Europe are now distributors for the van furniture. So if you guys are watching this over in Europe and you want to get hold of that, get hold of T Transport HQ Europe, they can supply you with that setup over there. Everybody else that was involved in this build from like Cobra that supplied them with the seats and stuff all really helped and got stuff to us really quickly because they were under quite a deadline to get this vehicle up and running for start show season and also because a couple of journeys they needed to do between the UK and their distribution center in Europe. So there you go. Let us know what you think, comment below. Love the blue color, came out all right. New headlights needed next, but we'll go into that in another episode. So as always, I hope you've liked the video. Please do press the like button. It helps us, the more people that like it, the more YouTube show the video to other people. Wheels are coming, as I said before, if you're interested in the Rotoform STL, just bear with us. We'll give you more details on social media as and when um, we get updates on when they're available. They're currently being made to fit straight on a transporter instead of the bit of work we needed to do to make these fit. Please do subscribe to the channel, loads of more cool videos coming. A couple of other cool ba uh, bagged vans we're working on. We'll have some more details on this bag kit that we're creating in the coming weeks as well. Share it with anybody else that might be interested. And as always, thanks for watching.